Uh, welcome to my first, very first um, YouTube haul. Um, I'd like to first start with um, some bits and pieces that I've just picked up over the last, I'd say, um, month or two. Um, I don't think I've got enough really for uh, favourites as such. Um, some of these products I haven't actually used as yet some of these products have literally come in today and um, so I can't really say the favourites and um, so we'll first start off with um, let's see we'll start off with skincare so today um, I'm this came through today I ordered it from um, QVC Alpha H um, now this intrigued me it came in a set of three I'll, I'll show you the other two items in a minute but this is a cleansing cube for face and body now when they showed it on the tv they were saying that it has like microscopic um what was it um like to basically slough off dead skin and it's a salt for the body now alpha h are really well known for let me get out of here um are really well known for their like resurfacing um, I can't get it. Oh. Ah, better. Um, so it's just a little, it's a white bar and it's supposed to have little beads of whatever in it. It allows if it's got shea in there, uh, I think it's got coconut oil in there as well. So I'm quite, I'm really looking forward to trying this on the body because obviously sun's coming and you want to be, you know, looking smooth, smooth skin and all that. Um, so then the next thing that I grabbed from Half Age is their Micro Cleanse Super Scrub with glycolic acid and peppermint. Now this I've wanted to try for ages. Um, I don't have terrible skin but I like to make sure obviously the skin's exfoliated and as smooth as possible. So with this, I thought this is something that I could probably pop into my regime maybe once or twice a week just to kind of the anti kind of thing uh, to make sure everything that is dead on said skin has been removed. Um, so again, I'd say this is only coming today. I've not I've not used it before. Um, as I say, the reviews on QVC seem to be pretty good, and as I say, I've seen this kind of all over the um, beauty blogs and you know that kind of thing. So looking forward to using this. The next thing I managed to pick up from them, now this is um, relatively new, and this is the Liquid Gold Smoothing and Perfecting Mask with Lavender. Now this, they say, um, is Liquid Gold, I know some of you might be um, aware of Liquid Gold, which is a um, product that you put on to your skin and it does have glycolic acid in it and it's just I think it's literally just glycolic acid you put it in your face and it's supposed to eat away any dead skin cells and all that kind of thing which is again has really good reviews now this they say has more glyconic in it than the um, liquid gold so when they said that I've tried liquid gold before and I maybe I didn't use it long enough to be honest to say that yes it worked or no it didn't work. Um, but what I liked about this off and what they've said, the one that it has more um, glyconic than it and two is that you only have to necessarily want to use it once so it's a face mask that you leave on for 10-15 minutes and it's supposed to kind of do the similar thing that the liquid gold does. Um, so again I thought those three um, products, obviously two for the face one for the body, I thought I'd give it a go and see, see how it goes and yeah, I'll use it for a little while and let you guys know what I think about them. So that's the, that's only that's all the beauty or skin stuff I would say. Um, or skincare. Um, moving on to now this. Now everyone would have seen this. The um what's it called? <laughs> Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Now I've never used anything from Makeup Forever before, um, but obviously it's all over YouTube, it's all over Instagram, all over everywhere, so I wanted to try it. Now the shade that I picked up, I think the old number was 178 and now it's the new, the new um, formulation or shade is Y535 and I think this is the darkest shade. Um, I picked this up on Debenhams um, website. They don't sell it in store, which is a, which kind of 
peed me off a little bit because it's kind of like, well, how do you then check your shade? Um, so what I had to do quite a lot of research to figure out which shade to get. Um, and to be fair, I think this was the darkest one. So I, ha I haven't, again, haven't used it um, as yet. Um, but looking forward to it, I think I'm going to use it when I'm maybe going out somewhere, you know. So I have supposedly, it's supposed to give you like a flawless, flawless skin. You know, who doesn't want flawless skin? Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, I'll say this is the darkest one. And yeah, it, it feels, it feels, oh God, it feels like a bit like, it feels so silky on the skin, so silky on the skin. So I'm hoping once, I, I mean even on my hand, but, oh God. I'm hoping that once I pop this on, oh my Jesus, look at, look, look at that, Just look, oh, yes, oh, oh, so yeah, looking forward to using that. Makeup forever, ultra HD. As I say, I've not, never used the original um, one prior to this, so I can't really, you know, say which was better or what. You know, if it feels different. But from the looks of this, um, <laughs> get away, get away. And um, a couple of things I picked up from um, Colourpop. Now, some of you might think, well, how did you get Colourpop? Because you live in the UK and they don't, they don't ship to the UK. No, they don't. Ah, excuse me, I think I've got one more here somewhere. I'm sure I'm just, I'm sure, just, I'm not sure I've got more. Let me just double check. Ah, <laughs> knew it. So, yeah, as I was saying, so yeah, don't ship to the UK. I've, um, I found, um, I can't remember. I found it to be honest with you. I'm sure it was on YouTube. Ah, it was a young lady from Australia. I can't remember the YouTuber's name. And she, um, obviously, she ships obviously internationally from wherever to her country. And I think the, the company's called Ship It To. And basically, what happens is you um, can create a US address and then they'll send it to the US address and then the US address send it to yourself. I've used it uh, so many times now and it's fantastic but if you like I'll you know give you more details that just let me know and I'll um, do a video on that giving you a lot more um, information on that because obviously I'm doing a haul now I don't really want to get into that. So anyway moving on so um, from Colourpop I picked up three shadows and a lot of you guys will know, obviously, what the packaging is like. Now, again, I've, I've got a few bits and pieces from um, Colourpop before. These ones, the first shadow is a Super Shock, <laughs> super shock Shadow um, in the colour Weenie. And that's that. The colour, and this is the packaging, just a little, you know, it's quite nice packaging. Nothing new looks like. Um, the colour, oh my days. It is just, it's gorgeous. It, it, uh, uh, oh, I'll give you a quick swatch of this. Oh, look at, look at that. Oh, God. Oh, it just makes me smile. Makes me smile. I love it. Um, so, as I say, that was one of their super shock shadows in the colour Weenie. Then the other one I picked up was um, is this another shoe? <laughs> super shock. Yeah, this is another super shock shadow, and this one is in the colour boy band. Yeah, and that. Oh, every time I open these, I just it just makes me it just makes me smile. It's like oh, oh, oh. and I'll give you a quick swatch of this. Pigmented, well, you know, everyone not. Oh, look at that. And that's a bronzy, um, goldish kind of um, colour, I would say. First one, obviously, is like a, what would you say? I'd say, I mean, on my skin tone, it's a, I'd say it's a pinkish kind of um, colour. But, oh, absolutely gorgeous. So again, that was Boy Band. The third one that I picked up 
is a lovely green colour. And again, is this a suit? Yeah. Another suit. Super shock shadow, um, and this one is the in the color partridge. You can see there. Now this color is um, a green or a mixture of I would say greens, um, kind of like a peacock -y kind of color. I don't have a lot of green colors, but when I saw that, I thought, you know what? Yeah, let me give it a go. And again, yeah. <laughs> Forward to trying that. I, I just, I just absolutely love their shadows. And one thing, another couple of things that I picked up, and I've never used these before. I do have a couple, uh, a few of their liquid lipsticks. Not tried the Ultra Matte. Not Ultra Matte. What are they called? The new ones. Can't remember what they're called. The ones that are not matte but kind of. Um, hydrating supposedly so I've uh, not tried those as yet um, but these are my first lipsticks that I'm using and this one is um, leather and it's a matte I can't add I, I like my mattes if I'm being honest one of my favourites that's my matte um, I'll give that a quick swatch for you guys those of you might not have seen it love oh, it's pretty 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 darn smooth Smooth, not as smooth as me, but pretty damn smooth. <laughs> so that's a lovely, um, I, I would, I'd say vibrant purple, it's not too deep. I suppose if you laid it on, it would be a lot deeper. I mean, obviously, the colouring there looks you know, quite deep, but you know, swatched on my skin, it doesn't look that deep. And then the second um, lippy stick that I picked up was the, another, um, another mat. Love the mats. Love the mats. And this one is in the colour Taurus. So I suppose on myself, um give you a swatch. Looks like it looks like chocolate, felt like I was rubbing chocolate on my skin. On my chocolate skin. <laughs> um but yeah, that's uh, another cream I've not used it yet as yet. Um that for me would probably be a nude. So, looking forward to using those. Um, what else do I have in my little box of tricks? Um, oh, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> so, everybody and their mother will know, or should know, or might know, about the um, Inglot gel liner. Now, I've used gel liners, I've used um, liquid liners and um, I did use the, uh, what's it called, mm. oh, they're real push up liner. Now I did like the push up liner but the only thing I will say is the application is good for those guys who um, I'm not really good at creating a, you know, the, the flick and all that kind of thing. However, the only thing is, the way the product comes out, it has to come out a certain way, but then you lose some of the product because it falls off, because it's the texture of it. I mean, it goes, after that's happened and it's fallen off kind of thing, it's fine. And I like the, um, the matte look. And it's very black as well, so having dark skin, sometimes you, you, the um, lines can look a little bit ashy, but the, the real their real one by benefit really good and um, again I've heard a lot about the Inglot gel liner supposedly the best the blackest blah 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 um, so I managed to get my hands on it oh, so excited this one's again haven't used it as yet uh, you know just a black gel liner um, so I'm looking forward to testing this out and seeing if it lives up to the hype um, yeah, so that's my Inglot gel liner. I think out of everything, this is one that I was most excited about actually is the Inglot gel liner. <laughs> um, and also makeup related. Um, now this, Mary, Mary Kay, is um, a brand similar to, I suppose, Avon. I'm not sure like where it's from or anything like that. I was watching um, a YouTube video of a young um, woman of 
um, I think she's from France. Well, she sounded like she had a French accent anyway. And she used this on her skin um, foundation wise and it looked absolutely beautiful. And you know, I'm always on the hunt for the next, you know, a great foundation. And um, that doesn't necessarily look like crazy, you know what I mean? Like foundation, foundation. So when she'd used this, I thought, oh, okay, so I'd give it a go. And um, this is the, it's called Time Wise Luminous Wear Liquid Foundation um, by Mary Kay. Um, the colour is Bronze 7. Um, they do say like, it's like Bronze 2, Bronze, you know, it's in that kind of um, colour formatting. And it, this is for normal to dry skin and it's this buildable coverage, suitable for sensitive skin, oil free, non Comment something um, smooth on foundation for a perfectly flawless luminous finish. Now the, the word luminous got me, and um, because I do tend to, well I do have quite dry skin, so when I'm looking for foundation, I'm looking for something that's going to kind of just brighten and you know not make my skin look drier than it is. Um, and when the lady who I watched um, using this, her skin looked absolutely great. Um, again, I haven't actually used this as yet. But uh, I am looking forward to to trying this out. I've had it for a few weeks actually. It's just been sat on my dressing table, um, as most of these things have been, because um, I've been wanting to do this whole my first one, as I said, really need <laughs> um, So you guys can let me know how I've done doing. Liked it, didn't like it. All right. um, yeah. So that's all the makeup stuff. Um, I do have a couple um, of fashion items and I'm not sure I need to go look on camera because I've never done a, a haul thing before and um, so I'll, I'll try my best to show you guys and apologies if it doesn't come I mean if it doesn't if it doesn't come up across thingy then then I'm probably just gonna cut it out and maybe try try it in a different way um, but I'm, I picked this and it's all I don't, I don't know where all this fluff shit came from like, it's like fucking hell anyway so, um, years and years ago, I used to wear caps. I've not worn a cap, like a hat cap, if you like, in a long time. And when I decided, you know, those bad hair days, sometimes it's going to be a bad hair week, and I thought, you know what, I want something that I can wear, and that's quite simple, that will look good with my outfits. Um, ideally, I wanted a plain black one, um, but I found this in the men's section in Top, Top Man. I think it was only about £15. And um, I thought it was nice, you know, it's classic, classic, you know, converse, um, simple, every day, so I'll say for me, bad, bad hair days. Um, so yeah, £15 um, from Topman, yeah, go grab one. Oh, yeah, last thing, and the way these, the fastening at the back isn't the clipping, but you can pull it to whatever level you want, which I think is pretty good, rather than you know, those clippy stud things in my, you know. Yeah, but this one, love it, love it. Um, and two other things, other thing from Topshop is this black, um, I'd say t-shirt dress or sweater dress. Um, I get, I got this, let's see if I can get it all in. Got this from, as I say, Topshop, same time as I picked up that um, cap actually. And I just, I thought it was really nice because I liked the fact that it was something simple. And again, I could dress this up, dress this down, um, you know, just, just simple material. Feels okay. Um, it's not too, it's not too heavy, it's not too thin. So I think it's something that you could, you know, layer if you, you know, through, because it's still quite cold here in the UK. Or in the summertime, you could wear this with maybe your, you know, sandals. I've got some Steve Stuart Wiseman sandals that I got last year, which would look awesome with this. Um, so I've got this in a size eight. Um, uh, this was 22 pounds. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that. Just literally, as I say, Simple. Simple. Yep, yeah, that's that. And then the other thing that I've picked up um, is this similar, one would say, um, but obviously a different colour and a slightly different um, style. So I've got this from Fashion Nova and I've seen this all over. Um, obviously the guys that get stuff from Fashion Nova, you know, I've seen Meg's, you love Meg's, with this on. 
um, and a few other people and I, I just loved it. I, I loved the fact that it's a sweater but it's just a little bit longer and it's got a high, high low, um, slightly, cause I, I mean I like high low but now it's like everything in the mum is high low, do you know what I mean? It's like sometimes you just want a simple tea, do you know what I mean? Um, so although this does have that, I liked it, it's literally like a sweater, it's, it's quite a heavy um, material, um, you know it's got two pockets, workable pockets and um, simple at the back. This was, um, it says $24.99 but I think they had a discount code on it so I got it for a little bit cheaper. Um, postage wasn't actually that bad, international postage so it, it, it worked out really well. Um, I got this in a medium and on the website it actually shows you the UK equivalent so in the UK equivalent this would be I think like an 8 to 10 and the less small would be you know going that way um so again this is just lovely and i cannot wait to wear something not sure when we'll wear to him yet but yeah i'll find somewhere um so guys um that is everything for um this haul and um, i just want to say thank you for watching for those of you that did watch and um, please like and um, please subscribe um, you know, leave comments, any suggestions. Um, again, I'm, I'm open for constructive criticism. So if there's anything that you know, if there was issues with whatever, you know, comment, say what you want to say. Um, yeah. So I just again, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys.